What's up people? Yes, you did not hear it wrong. This game, at this moment, what I play, Throne and Liberty, is the global beta, just location is in Korea. Why it's the global beta? Any global player can play this game and you can check the video how to play Korean version of the Throne and Liberty on Korean server. And the price for that access is the same amount as uh, Amazon game will offer you for play the Throne and Liberty there. So why I call it the uh, <coughs> global beta uh, since the game is published one and a half months ago uh, because it is the beta. I feel the game is better since <coughs> what game I have at this moment is full different than the game I started to play. Everything is different. Almost everything is modified. Everything is changed. They are fixing some situations. They are fixing some uh, balances. They are fixing some states and a lot of things. I will make even the video before and after and I will make that video when we uh, get the published date for the uh, Western release and yes, I will have a lot of videos uh, how game was looking at the beginning of the start on Korea and what the game uh, we have that moment when we get the exact date of the publishing the game on the West. So what is the situation now? Uh, the game get a lot of nerves. Yes, the game get a lot of nerves. But when I, before I start to talk about this, don't forget guys, I always talk my uh, always talk my ideas what I like what I don't like I'm hardcore PvP players I love PvP kind of MMORPGs and yes this is my gameplay this is my games I always play this from my childhood so uh, if you want to hear such kind of uh, ideas and opinions from me in the future about for ashes of creation 2 since I bought the alpha 2 test you can subscribe the channel and you can follow me so let's back on the topic why we get the uh, nerfed game uh, this game was much difficult at the beginning than it is at this moment so what's happening here is the situation that uh, a lot of players was blaming a lot of things and uh, the game was looking uh, harder and they got decreased the difficulty for it for example this is the big change uh, the tried system was much different than it is now uh, hit, critical hit, heavy attack chance. Oh, now we have these three stats. At the beginning of the game, we have the uh, range, mage, and melee hit, range, mage, and critical hit, uh, range, mage, and melee heavy attack chance. This was different states, uh, different traits. If you wanted to socket your weapon with uh, especially your, for example, uh, mage uh, hit and mage critical hit and mage heavy attack chance, you had to find the weapons. Uh, this is the weapons list and you had to take the stats from that weapon and socket your own one. Uh, the problem was that uh, for mage one, you could choose between the wand, between the staff and if I remember between the bow. Yes, if I remember good. And it was uh, shorting you alternatives, so what uh, weapons you could get uh, and what weapons you need to get to socket and level up your traits. Now it's not. Now everything gets hit, critical hit and heavy attack chance. And these three states combined together. So it means that all the weapons uh, which you will need get combined together. Do you see the list of the heavy attack chance here? Here is all weapons, all kind of weapons. Here is the wand, here is the great swords, here is the daggers, here is the staffs, here is the bows, crossbows, uh, and sword and shield. Simple. They uh, decrease the difficulty so hard. This is what it means to get the difficulty so hard. Also, they increase the uh, they increased the uh, states for uh, endurance and such kind of things, the defensive states for the gear, so people will not die in one shot and people was dying in the one shot. I have ever s I have seen m with my eyes that uh, uh, geared uh, archer killed geared, uh, um, geared melee in one shot. It was 12,000 hit or something like that, so it's not gonna happen anymore. Now let's go to the <coughs> weapon side and the item side. Let's go here and let me show you how to get the purple weapon. You just come here. No, no, no. You just take the 
you just take these uh, contract quests you will get the uh, contract coins from this and you will just buy your red zip you, you see the stuff you can just come here and buy this stuff you have the purple weapon you have the top grade weapon and you don't even need a much time for example if you're limit on the contract and you have daily 10 contract limit and daily is the 10 limit for the contract and if you do this area contracts you get 20 to 24 coins but if you move a bit way harder location here you will get it very easy let me show you so here is the contract master do you see 30 you get 30 uh, also you can buy this uh, punch and you can even do the quest for this punch and uh, you have chance to get some shit items or get some random uh, red shift or random uh, weapon red shift armor red shift and even you have chance to get the full armor I mean already crafted one also this is the this decrease the difficulty of the game since uh, do you see a lot of players here this is the reason and the people who get this red shift and if you craft something you may get the crit on the craft and uh, mm, your item can be uh, sold in the marketplace like here and I will show you just that stuff and this is the stuff and yes the do you do you see the prices get so down I mean the prices was between 1000 and now it's get so down so this is even the armors and other things and when bots are farming those coins it means that the they can get a lot of lucent I'm bugged no I'm not and yes the game difficulty gets decreased a lot also we have so many changes in the game for example the skill panel do you see these slots quick slot one quick slot two quick slot three and others it was not like that before because if you change the weapons you can set the uh, new quick slots and you don't have to took uh, again and again anytime you change or you can make some pvp and pv combinations and yes you don't need to do every time also we get additional skills here is the skills and i think they will be accessible when we get the open these areas and before i'm talking on the area we can come here and see this iceland is also edited uh, edit iceland we did not have this iceland on the release uh, also I want to check the calendars uh, this is the calendars system and this is the daily schedules for the PV uh, for to gain uh, grinding and get, get some uh, skill points and some kind of things and do you see uh, the increased uh, materials this was not here here was some kind of garbage people at least does not even doing the much daily contract and some things because you don't you was getting shit but now you get really good amount of the items even on the ranks at the rank one it was okay okay it was okay but other ranks it was so bad but now it is really normal i want to check one thing do you get uh, yes you get the marine okay so uh, the difficulty of the game gets decreased so much it's decreased so much uh, the panel of the games and uh, some things inside the game get changed a lot we did not even these lions we did not have okay you don't care these lions but the idea is that we did not have it like you don't or don't you don't like we did not hit it so it is what it is also i want to talk about a party recruitment you see this looks human made but what we had not, uh, in the past it was like this you could imagine these categories does not exist you could just type uh, i want people to roa the image and tank and it, it was just over nothing more just like that but now you have categories you have dungeons you have a polish dimension cycles and other things and it's way better before that uh, they also added the uh, dungeons gate of infinity 
this is the solo uh, Dangeon. It is it is not easy one. And here you have the ratings uh, to compare other players. And here is really nice rewards. This is the rewards of rank, and this is the <coughs> some kind of achievements reward. You see, this looks really good. Here is also did they edit? No, they don't and the things also i i really like this when you're bugged or if you are in a trouble you can just click this and the every 15 minutes you are back to the base so um they started to open the fortresses we will have the fortresses so soon what they even changed uh, I'm talking about uh, they are making a lot of changes for the skill balances and such kind of things and it's kind of normal just the main point is that the game looks way different than it was in past for example I had the video about uh, how to get the gear in Throne and Liberty and it was good at that moment but I need to recap that video because how to get the gear in Throne and Liberty is way different at this moment but when it was at the beginning because it was way hardcore at the beginning than it is uh, right now so yes uh, this is the reason why I call this game the open beta uh, servers on Korean based because NCSoft have really big financial crisis at this moment and this game for them will be an angel or will be a demon and they are doing everything before they go to the western market to this game modified as the angel since the company have a huge financial gap they need this game to be successful and uh, I don't know man uh, I am the PvP player, I am uh, also solo PvP player sometimes and I like small groups and I like solo PvP but this game don't have it and I wondering the game which is on this high level to have the at least the arena arena system arena ranking system or make some uh, PvP dungeons like uh, six versus six groups like in ion we don't have it I mean uh, this game is more like 90% of PvE game and 10% uh, of PvP game and it's zerging when you are facing with the zerg it does not matter who you are and what's your skill level of the PvP or some kind of thing no you are zerg or you get zerg this is just simple and I hope they are doing something they are doing something for before we get the global release at least they have to add the arenas it is so simple that every MMORPG needs to have arenas we get a lot of pleasure with the arenas but no the Throne and Liberty don't have this one so um, this is uh, what I wanted to say this is what I wanted to explain why I call this game open beta because it is the open beta anytime the game can change modified uh, in the deep side uh, situation and uh, yes it is the normal because we get the uh, feedbacks that we don't like something they are listening and they are doing it just imagine when we will have the siege in this week we have the siege and uh, the problems which will appear on the siege yes these problems can goes uh, can make a lot of changes and of course when we get the global on the west the game will not be the same at the beginning uh, of the release you know, when we get the throne and liberty so yes as much time as will go game will get more optimized but uh, the global players who never played on uh, the western market will get a way different game than we already playing on korea so if you want to join this game you can check my video it will pop up after ending uh, after the ending of this video and you can click it you can watch it and you can join it before you do it uh, subscribe the channel follow me I'm making I will make a of creation uh, content and Throne and Liberty content at this moment uh, in these two area I'm walking so yes join me follow me in uh, Throne and Liberty journey and as always see you in that next video